warm welcome to the 29th of July 2018. Hi, so it's currently like 10 o'clock, we're about to go for breakfast in high hop, I hop, no, I can't even say it, um, not I hop, I hop, um, but yeah, I'm really excited because I just want pancakes, and then we're just going to go shopping in the Florida Mall, I think. So this is the top I bought in H&M the other day, and I look like Harry Styles, and I love it. <laughs> I've waited so long for this. Okay, so we're now in Costco, and literally, there's like 8 billion free samples, so there's going to be like a massive sample count that I can already see it happening. I'm dying. <laughs> I found the perfect day for me. It's National Lipstick Day. Hey, so it's currently the next day. I have basically, I've come outside today. I'm kind of in like the gardens of our hotel and I've come to do a bit of an American shopping haul for you guys. It's very bright, so I have my sunglasses. If I don't have them on, I literally can't see a thing. So we're having them on. But um, yeah, I just came to do an American shopping haul because yesterday when we went to like, we went to two malls. We went to the Florida Mall and the Mall of Millennia and I literally spent like nearly all my money. Like I literally have like $40 left. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna show you everything I bought yesterday. So let's go. Our first place we went was Target. Now, you may remember if you were here last year that I made a whole vlog that was literally called Losing My Shit in Target. And this year I did lose my shit in Target once again, I have to say. The most of the stuff I bought in Target was like stationery stuff for school because, you know, hopefully I'll get into year 13. But, you know, if I do get in, I'm gonna need stationery. So I thought I'd buy it again here because I like kind of the stuff they have here. It's really cute. There's lots of people over there and I'm not sure if they can hear me or not. Hopefully they can't. Okay, so the first thing are these pens. These are kind of, these are so cute. These are, there's a white one and a black one and then like their accents are rose gold. And honestly, they are so cute. They were quite, it's pricey. I think they were like 4 dollars for two pens, but they're cute. You can't leave them when they're this cute. So next up is this really cute mini stapler. Now you remember that last year I bought a stapler. It was like blue with spots on it, but I left it in a classroom in school, came back for it the next day and someone had literally broken it and taken the staples out. I was like, oh thanks, I love my school. But um, yeah, this was really cute. The top of it is grey with like a yellowy, like a pale yellow bottom and it's got a thousand staples included, which is great. And it has a staple holder. We all know how excited I was about the staple holder that last year and it has one this year. So next step is actually for my friend Sarah. This is a gift bag that I'm gonna put a present in from Florida and it says she leaves a little sparkle wherever she goes. I just thought this was so cute and it's so accurate because Sarah does leave a little bit of sparkle wherever she goes. So I got this for you. This was for you Sarah. <laughs> next step are these big highlighters. There's literally 12 highlighters in here. Like I don't know why you'd need three, four yellows but I have them. So I just thought this would be good for you know if they run out and I could always use some highlighters. Next step are these Papermate Inkjoy pens. I chose these ones because they have the little grips on them and like I need them to write because my writing is atrocious as it is so anything that can help it is like really needed. There's eight pens in here. There's purple, red, orange, yeah, green, blue, a light blue, a dark blue, a purple and a black. To be honest the only one I'm going to write in is black but I use the rest for like you know colourful writing. To be honest with you I don't actually write that much in school anymore because all the subjects I take are like computer subjects so I don't really write that much but it's always good to have them. And then I just purchased a pack on mechanical pencils because you guys if you've been here for a long time you know I can't stand normal pencils. They're just so like, I don't even know what's wrong with them. They're just kind of like itty. I just don't like them. So I will try and get mechanical pencils where I can. There's like uh, eight in here, I think, same as the pens. Next up is this really cute notebook. This notebook has a cactus on it and it says, can't touch this. I loved this. It was either this one or it was a cookie that was fighting. And it said tough cookie, but me and mum decided on this one because it was just so cute. And then inside is just a normal lined notebook. And the last thing I bought in Target was this planner. This is an Ashley G planner, and I've heard these about these before. They're meant to be like really helpful. Um, the front cover I really like. It's kind of like a t like it's got loads of blues in them. It says 2018, 2019 on it. Then inside it's just kind of like a calendar. There's also bits that, like at the end. They're like, like you know organizers and stuff. But it's mostly just a calendar to be honest with you. Oh, and there's a list of like holidays and stuff there. Okay, so the next shop I went to was a shop called Ice In. This was kind of like the Clears of America. Like they do have Clears in America, but I feel like it was very much like Clears. So first thing I got were these bandanas because I've been looking for a, like especially a dark green bandana in the UK, but they never have any in like Primark or anywhere, so I'm able to find one. 
and then I also got this kind of like maroon navy red. These are more for the winter to be honest than the summer but I thought I'd better get them now whilst I see them. Next thing is a super secret present so that's gonna have to go over there. And the final thing I got you literally won't believe. So when I was in the UK I went to Clears because I really wanted a fake, a fake pair of glasses and I picked up two pairs of glasses and I was like okay I can only have one and I went for this other pair and then I got home I did took off the tag and I was like I don't really like these and I couldn't take them back so then I was like, right, when I go home, I'll just get the other pair. So I walk into this shop and they have literally a clear section and in there was the glasses I looked at. I'm gonna take these off so I can try these on. I have been wanting a pair of these fake glasses for so long, but I've literally never picked one up. To be honest, I think they look really cute. I can't see because I'm squinting because I, I take my sunglasses off, but I think these look so cute. These are normally like squinting when I'm trying to show you guys these, but they're like a rose gold like accent and they're like round. I just think they're so cute. I've been looking for a pair like this for ages. This is a problem when your hotel's like in the in the like path the helicopter tours. You just get those helicopters going over when you try to film. Okay, so the next shop I went to was Sephora. Uh, if you guys know me, you're probably wondering why am I going to Sephora? Because I'm not really that big on makeup. The only makeup I tend to like is lipstick. And Sephora has this really cool collection. It's called Lip Stories, I think. And it's full of like 22 different lipsticks. And they're like really cool colours. Uh, they obviously have you know, like the normal colours, like pink, red, beiges, all them. But then they also have like crazy colours. Like they have like black, pink, purple blue, green, all them. So obviously, you know, that's where I headed. So the first lipstick I repurchased was this one. This one is called City Beat and it's kind of like a navy blue. Now basically, you may remember that when I went to Rome in April, I bought it in Sephora there. Now I loved it, but like two weeks before we came to Florida, I lost it somewhere. I, I have no idea where I lost it to. But obviously, there's no Sephora's in the UK, so I couldn't buy another one. So I waited and then on day two when we were here, I bought another one, it was working great. And then like two days ago, I think, I snapped it. Like I literally was just putting it on and it just snapped. So I've had that for five days and I broke it so I've had to buy another one I spent $16 just repurchasing this lipstick like that's like why am I a dickhead really I've lost this lipstick and I had to pay another $8 for it and then I snapped it and I had to pay another $8 for it so you know I am a resident dickhead but I have it back now I'm definitely not gonna let this one break or lose it again I'm gonna keep hold of it because it's like one of my favorite lipsticks so the next one that I bought for the first time was this kind of like it's kind of like a um, light greeny blue it's called Ouch. Now I really love this colour. It's got glitter in it as well, which you know is always a bonus. But it's kind of like a really light green, like pushing onto blue. I haven't actually seen what this looks like on my lips yet, but I think it's going to look really cool because I bought one from MAC that was called Instant Icon and it was just too much. Like I literally couldn't wear it. But I feel like this one's a more subtle version of that, so it'll be fine. Oh, by the way, all of these lipsticks in this collection are $8 each. And the final lipstick I bought was this one. This one's called Trippin'. It's kind of like a really lilac purple. Basically, I have like three purple ones, but they're MAC, and they're kind of like dark. I have like a really dark one that's bordering on brown. I have a dark purple, then I have like a really bright purple, but this is kind of like a really soft purple. This is like so lilac-y. It's insane, but I kind of, I really love the colour. It reminds me a bit of like my Men Love Mystery one. I had that one. It was from MAC. It was kind of like a pinky. It was a bit more pinky than this, but it was kind of like the same colour, but I lost it, which is a big surprise. So this one's to replace it, really. Next up is Bath & Body Works. Now, obviously, you can't come to America and not go to Bath & Body Works. So Bath & Body Works having a deal. It was five hand gels for $6, which is really good, presuming they're $1.75 each. So I think they went down to $1.20 each, which was, you know, much better. Especially because I don't know when I'm coming back to Florida or America, so I definitely want to stock up on hand gel. So the first one I got is this one. This is pink lemonade flavored, and it's in part of their unicorn range. And it says, don't quit your daydream. And then it says pink lemonade on it. I don't know why I just laughed at that. I just found it really funny. Next one is this one. This one's called Perfect Beach Day. And I, I don't even know what it smells like. It just smells of the beach. It smells like sand and water mixed together. It smells so good. Actually, read on the back, there's actually peach in it, which is what makes it smell like that. But it smells so good, I can't even tell you guys. Also, the sun's going away and the wind's picking up, which means it's gonna rain, so I'm like, quick, quick, quick. <laughs> Next up is this one. This one is called Sweeter Strawberries, and it obviously smells like strawberries. I also love the color of this, it's like a pinky kind of color obviously because it's made of strawberries what other colors are going to be next one is this one it's called sparkling lemon lemon seal lemon seal lemon seal how do you say that lemon seal 
lemon sealer, lemon sealer. I'm gonna write it on the screen. You guys can just, you know, interpret that however you want. This one smells so much like lemons, but it's kind of like refreshing and like I kind of love the smell of like you know like bleach. You know when your mum like cleans the bathroom and it smells like bleach. I love that smell and it smells like that. That was a really odd smell to like. I just don't know why. I just like it. So the last one I bought is warm vanilla sugar. I bought this one for the whole purpose of using it for December. Like I'm not gonna use this one until December. I'm gonna use it in December and then we're gonna put it away for the next December. Like that's the way it works. And then I kind of need something to hold this hand gels in so I got myself a new hand gel holder this is so cute it's a little bit it's so fluffy I literally love it this was $8.75 which I was literally like this is so pricey but it looks so cute look, see it holds my hand gel look see I can get some put it away now my hands smell like strawberries Great. And the very final thing of this haul is this purse. Now I can't remember where I got this from. It was some shop in the Florida Mall, but I literally can't remember the name of it. But the reason I got this is because currently I'm using a makeup bag as a purse. I bought it last year, not realizing it was a makeup bag, thinking it was a purse. And I've quickly found out it's really impractical. It doesn't do its job as a purse because it's a makeup bag. So I really need to buy myself a purse. <laughs> so I've got myself a proper purse. It's empty at the moment because I haven't put my money in it yet. But it's just really cute. It's kind of like um blue with a slash navy stripes uh, with watermelons on it which is very cute it was $12 I think yeah $12.99 $12 so yeah that was my American haul if you enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow in another video goodbye Can you do it? Yes. Okay. Okay. You need to shut the fuck up.